Okay, what we've got here is the offside bottom hose bed. Uh, it's just two standard flakes. They're, they're flaked exactly the way we've always done it. The only difference is that we've got the two couplings, the centre couplings, have been brought to the front so that we can easily undo these couplings if required or remove them from the, from the hose bed once we're stretching out this hose. Now attached to this one is a 70 mil um, branch. So this forms uh, what is our working length of 70 mil if we want to do a quick hit on a building or start a defensive operation, but it also turns into our horizontal standpipe if we want to reduce back down to 38s or even start off with 38s, but multiple 38s. Um, so we'll put the 70 mil branch into the hose bed. Right, we've put our branch into our hose bed here, uh, 70 mil branch. Again, this is our working length, which can revert back into a horizontal standpipe. We're now going to build our attack packs and we'll put the attack pack sitting on top here with a supply length and a working length. So we'll build those attack packs and, uh, and come back. Uh, we're going to build up our attack pack now. This is the working length of our attack pack. Uh, the way we want to build it up is to lay it side by side, but we want to ensure we end up with a tag end that we can deploy this hose and stretch it back when we've attached it. Um, so we've measured the table. It's 1100 millimetres, the same as the hose bed, and we're flaking it side by side. So we'll just go ahead and flake it up. Now this hose load is called a barra load because this has come from Barrowville. Uh, Max Duncan and the crew there have worked on this and uh, this is going to be the working length of our barra, uh, working barra load of our attack pack. It's really important to take your time when you're flaking these up. Make sure you've got good hose. Um, you know, we don't want hose that have got um, holes in them or um, bandages on them or anything like that. So get your best hose, take your time flaking it up. That way it'll deploy a lot easier. So when we get to the end here, we want to dress the couplings. You can see the couplings are a little bit out of whack with the end. Um, obviously this is going to be the supply line of our um, barrel load. So we're just going to move that in so that the couplings sit at the end. And then with the, the working end where the branch will be attached, we want that about halfway. And then what we'll do is just put some straps on it. Carl's got some straps there to, to strap it up. So what we've achieved here, again, this is a barrel load, this is the working length, got the branch attached. We're going to now flake up a supply length as well. The supply length and the working length form our attack pack, but this is a barrel load of hose. What we're going to build now is our um, second half of our attack pack. This is still a barrel load. It's going to be a second barrel load we're going to build. Uh, but it's going to be our supply line, this one. So it won't have a branch attached. It'll actually have a breaching piece, a 38 millimetre gated Y. Again, we're going, to, we're going to flake it up in the same way. It's important we get this little tab at the back here so we can extend the hose out when we're deploying it. Uh, and it just flakes side by side the same as our working length. So we'll go ahead and flake it up. And again, it's really important you take your time in flaking these hoses up so they deploy very easily. Let's not rush these. Take our time and do it properly. So once we get to the end again, we need to dress these couplings so that they sit properly. We'll make this one our supply end, which is going to hook onto our 
working length inside and this one here will go back to our appliance. So this one will have the breaching piece on, this one will be free. For that purpose we need this one to be at the front and again we'll just dress this hose up in, along the length and the gated Y, 38mm gated Y will sit at the front also. So we'll go ahead and strap it up. Okay, so what we've achieved here is again, this is a supply line, we've got a breech attached, we can attach this onto our branch in the hose bed to form up a horizontal standpipe, uh, or we can detach that um, gated Y, the breaching piece, and this supply end can go straight back to the truck. Okay, there's no worries. So what we've got here is our offside bottom hose bed. Uh, this is our 70 mil working length that we've set up. It also doubles as a horizontal standpipe simply by removing the nozzle and putting the gated Y on the, on the front. What we'll do now is we'll fit our tack pack in here, we'll put our supply length in first. And again, it's very important that we dress it, we take our time to fit it in nice and neat and dress the hose in here. Our gated Y will fit down the front between the, um, the 70 mil hose. Okay, dress nice and neat. We'll now put our working length in, our second barrel load in. And again, let's take our time to dress it. Fit it in nice and neat. And again, the branch will fit down here clear of the, the top of the hose bed. So this forms what we've called the attack pack, uh, supply length and a working length. And then underneath is either our horizontal standpipe or also doubles as an attacking length of 70 mil hose.